In this video, I'm going to use Google Sheets to perform some basic matrix operations. So the first step is to access a Google Sheets. What you have to do is you go to google.com, like what I have done here, and then you log in. After logging in, what you can do is you can go to the top right hand corner where you have uh, this square of dots here, and then you click here. And uh, when you have clicked there, what you see, you would have Google Sheets. So click on Google Sheets. When you are now in Sheets, you click on blank spreadsheet here. So click a blank spreadsheet there. So we now have a blank spreadsheet. It's optional. You can go on and name it. I can go on and name this one the sheet where we are saying matrix operations. Matrix operations. So I've called this matrix operations. Then I'll press the return key there. So it has been saved now. So for the illustration, I'm going to be using the matrices which are appearing on the screen there, matrix A, matrix B, and matrix C. So to enter those matrices, what I'll do there is uh, I'll start by designating the matrix areas. So we are having the matrix A there is a 3 by 3. So I can just go on and put a 1 there. And then a minus 2. And then a minus 5 for the matrix A. And then a 3. A4, A0, then A2, A1, A minus 3. So that's for the matrix A. Then for the matrix B, let me make this a bit larger here so that they can be seen clearly. For matrix B, we have A1 here. A2, A0, and then we have uh, A1, A5, A2, then we have A4, A5, A minus 3. And then for the matrix C, it is a uh, three rows, two columns. So I'll go on for the matrix C, two, and then a three. And then put a 7 here, and then a 1. Then I'll put a 5, and then a 3. So we have uh, the matrices there. But to make my sheet a bit clearer, I can just uh, format this sheet. So I can start by the first matrix there. I can just highlight it. This is just formatting to make my sheet clear so that I can just put borders here, borders on all, so that it makes my sheet a bit clearer. Put borders here, so I click here, then put all borders. And then for the matrix C, I'll go on and put borders again, then uh, click on where it says borders here. So the matrices now have borders there. So the other thing to make my sheet clearer, I can go on and name to say this is matrix A, this is matrix B, this is matrix C. And this is just for making the sheet a bit clearer. So I can start by merging these three cells here. I go to format, then merge, and then uh, merge all. So I'm just naming this where I go to matrix, matrix A. So we have the matrix A. I can center this here. So it's saying now matrix A is these elements. This is just formatting so that my sheet appears a bit clearer for anyone who is seeing. And I can go on to this one. I merge these ones. Go to format. I'll go to merge. Merge all. So I will now name this. This is matrix. Matrix C. And I can go on and center this one so that it's clear saying this is matrix C. This is matrix B, not matrix C. This is the second matrix. The matrix C is this one. I, these two, I go to format, merge, then merge these ones. Then I call this matrix, matrix C. So I can center the C there. 
and uh, I can just try to change the color here. Just change the color here and uh, change the color here. So yeah, I'm just formatting to make sure that uh, my work is uh, clear so that anyone can read it. So we now have the matrices there. The next step is I will now want to name these arrays where I have denoted these matrices. So I can go on to the array which is representing matrix A. So I highlight it, then I go to the left on the name box. The name box is this one here. So I'll call it matrix A. In short, I'll call it MA. So whenever I'll type MA, it will be referring to this array that is uh, highlighted. So MA, that's the name that I'm giving to the highlighted array. And I press the return key. For the elements of the matrix B, so I have the elements of the matrix B there. I highlight them. I'm highlighting only the elements of the matrix B, not the name matrix B. And then I go on to the name box, rename this array that is highlighted. I'll call it MB in short, say matrix B. Press the return key. And then I go on to name this array to represent matrix C. This array that I've highlighted here, go to the name box. And then I'll call it matrix C, MC for short. Then I press the return key. So I now have uh, my arrays named matrix A, matrix B, and matrix C. And in short, I am calling them MA, MB, and MC. I now go on to use formulas for the operations. I will start by doing addition A plus B. So for A plus B, I can go on to this cell here and I will type in equals to. And uh, I will type array. Array formula, this one which is appearing here. Array formula, then it open parenthesis. Array formula, what you want is to add the two arrays, matrix A and matrix B. So we are saying it's MA. And as you can see, it has highlighted the elements where we have the A there, then plus the matrix B, which I've denoted as MB. So it's array formula, open parenthesis, MA plus MB, close parenthesis then I press the return key and it gives us the, the result of adding the two matrices there. It gives us the three by three matrix, which has elements two, zero, minus five, four, nine, two, six, minus six. I can just go on and format the matrix there so that it is clear for anyone who will be reading. I put the borders like what I did before, and then go on and match this. Format, merge cells, merge all. So I will now go on to say this is matrix, matrix A plus matrix B. So that's matrix A plus matrix B. I can then I can then just center this. And then uh, just to format the background there. So that it appears clearly that's matrix A plus matrix B. I can now go on and perform matrix uh, subtraction A minus B. So I can click on the cell where I want to put my A minus B. So I have clicked on this cell, then equals to, then we say array, array formula, this one which is appearing there. So open parenthesis, we are saying matrix A minus matrix B. So it's M A minus M B. Then I close parenthesis. And as you can see, the matrices have been highlighted there. So I press the return key. So we have the result there. That's matrix A minus matrix B gives us the matrix zero, minus four, minus five, two, minus one, minus two, minus two, minus four, zero. And I can then go on just to format it so that uh, my working appears to be clear. Then put borders there. After putting borders, I can merge these ones. Format, merge cells, merge all. Then I call this uh, matrix A minus B. And then I can just change the background there. I can center this. So it's appearing there, showing that matrix A 
minus b is this 3 by 3 matrix here. And then I can go on to the next step. What we now want to do is multiply the matrices A and B so that we get the matrix A times B. So what I'll do is I'll click on the cell where I want the matrix A times B. Then I'll press the equal sign and then I'll type in. And then I'll type in array, array formula and it opens parentheses and inside there we will type matrix multiplication so it's m m a u l t and then open parenthesis we are multiplying the matrix a and then this put a comma then matrix b and then i close parenthesis then close parenthesis for this one here then i press the return key and we have there that are the and we have there that the product of a and b is minus 21 minus 33 11 7 26 8 minus 9 minus 6 11 just to make my sheet clear i format this put some borders here put all borders then format this merge cells format go to merge cells merge all and then i type in this is matrix matrix a b and then i can go on and uh, center there and just change the background so it's indicating the matrix a times b is this one i can then go on and find the transpose of the matrix a so i go on to the cell where i want the transpose to be so i'll say equals to then i type in the command transpose this one which is coming up transpose open parenthesis then it's saying matrix a and as you can see the matrix a has been highlighted there and then i close parenthesis then press the return key so we have this is the transpose of the matrix a for the transpose the rows become the columns so i can just format it so that uh, this become clear add uh, some borders here and then just highlight to say that i want uh, to merge these ones merge cells merge all and then i say transpose a transpose we are saying this is the transpose of a then just to make it clear center then at the background color so we have the transpose of the matrix a is this one here what we can do we can also find the inverse of a matrix so for the inverse of a matrix for example i find the inverse of the matrix a there for the inverse we type matrix inverse is m inverse this one which is appearing here so i click on m inverse is and open parenthesis we want the inverse of matrix a if you want the inverse of matrix b then you type the mp that we have assigned there then i press the return key and we have the inverse there yes elements 2.4 2.2 minus 4 minus 1.8 minus 1.43 1 1 minus 2 and just to make my sheet clear i can um format this put a border and then name this mm, format go to match cells met this so this is inverse this is inverse of uh, the matrix a inverse of the matrix a then i can just center this and then i can just uh, change the background here so that it's a bit clearer so we have the inverse of the matrix a there is this three by three matrix i can uh, also evaluate the determinant of uh, the matrix a so i go on and so i go on to the cell where i want the determinant i click here then i type in equals to and then we use uh, the command m matrix determinant m determ this one m determ open parenthesis and as we are saying the determinant of the matrix a then close parenthesis if we want the determinant of the matrix b you just type mb there where you have uh, the m a 
and uh, you should recall that when you are finding the determinant, we can only find the determinant of square matrices. So, for example, you cannot find the determinant of this matrix C because that's a 3 by 2. So, the determinant of the matrix A there, I press the return key and it gives us a 5. So, I can just uh, rename this and I can just call it a determinant. I can just highlight uh, these ones and uh, merge the cells and you call it a determinant. A determinant. Change the background there. So we have the determinant there is a minus five. So those are the basic matrix operations that I just wanted to illustrate. Matrix addition, subtraction, matrix multiplication, the transpose, the inverse of a matrix, then the determinant of a matrix. So all the things I'm working online, they have been saved. So what I can do is I can go back to my sheets and you will see that uh, that sheet will be saved there. It's here, it's saying matrix operations. So if you open it at any given time, you will see the work that you had uh, saved there before. So this is what I did. I can just zoom a bit so that it goes to the level that I was using. Okay, this one. So those are the results.